uh, 20 years in existence. Some call it maybe a 20 to, can y'all hear me okay back there? 20 to, if I fall out of this, you laugh. You laugh. It's a rat. No diplomas, no books, no nothing. 20 to 30 million dollars as a budget. But the most important thing, and the thing that I'm most excited about, is you. And fellas in the room, I just looked over the whole roster. Brother, you held it down, I guess, on your own. But brothers, let's step it up. And ladies, I want to say that this is historic, if you really put it in context. Could this have happened 50 years ago in Atlanta? Where we've got, how many were in total in the class, Amy? How many walks? Started with 20. Started with 20 and we have 15. 15 graduates. Mm -hmm. So we got 14 women, one guy? Yep. 14 women on Auburn Avenue in a library who started businesses 50 years ago in Atlanta. Black women, Latina women. Could it have happened? No. 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 So again, let's give you guys a round of applause. <laughs> you know, when we started the Atlanta market, we've grown and it's beautiful. I want to say thank you to my team. It's amazing. Um, but I'm an entrepreneur at heart. And that's why this means so much to me. So I'll, I'll tell you a few background stories and hopefully I'll make a point at some point. But let me start. It goes back to 1986. A few years earlier than that, I was born. <laughs> 1986. <laughs> 1986. I was always this kid that had this hustle mentality. Grew up in the cave. Anybody from the cave? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I always had this hustle mentality. I could make popsicles and sell them. Or, you know, I could trade transformers and toys. And if you know, if I had the good transformer, I'd make money off it. I had a birthday party, no lie, when I was seven years old. It was a sleepover. I sold all my gifts back to my guests and made a profit. <laughs> no, no lie. My parents will validate that. However, I didn't know what this was. I had no clue what this energy was. So at the age of 11, I used to ride my bike up to my barber on Camden Road. Anybody from Decatur knows Camden Road. And I used to go get my hair cut from Larry. At 86, when I turned that last corner, I stopped and I dropped my bike. Why? Because in the parking lot was a black, brand new, Black on black on black convertible Mustang GT oh, wow. 5.0 with what we call triple gold dates. Back then, you could put a Bentley next to a Benz and put the GT next to it every day of the week. I'm going with the Ford Mustang. They called it the Boss. Wow. Whose car is that? So I was pretty much loud my whole life. So I bust in the barber shop and I'm like, who's got the GT out there? Larry raises his hand. And I'm like, what? So I'm waiting patiently. I'm sitting, I'm antsy in my chair, waiting on my time to go with Larry. And I sit in this chair. And I'm saying, before you even start cutting, man, I pay you eight. Dollars. <laughs> cut my hair. How do you afford that car? Because it went from my wall in my room. My dream car was in the parking lot of somebody that I knew. This was like my biggest dream at this age. And I rode my bike, and there it was. He said, What do you mean? I said, How do you afford that kind of ride? He said, Oh, well, let me explain to you. Let me explain something to you. I'm more than a barber. I'm still like, still no haircut yet. I'm still talking to him face to face. He says, you see all these barber chairs? Count them. I counted there were 12 other barber chairs. I said, how many barbers do you see? He said, 12. He said, with me, that's 13. He said, each of these barbers pays me $75 a week to cut hair in my shop. I said, so this is your shop. You may not have known. I own this shop. I also cut hair. Do the math. So I was a pretty smart kid. So I said, five hundred fifty, three hundred dollars a week, twelve people. Okay, in '86, yeah. clearing three thousand dollars. You know, he was I don't know, twenty-eight years old, clearing three thousand dollars from the shop plus what he made as a barber. I thought that was some significant cheddar. He 
said, Tim, but I got three other shots. <laughs> <laughs> so my mind started going crazy. And then he changed my life. He said, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm what you would call a small business owner. Everything changed. 